official watches. Ultimate Timekeepers of UCMMA. My name is Chase Morton, Chase the Extraterrestrial, E.T. Morton. Find out of Combat Company, Team Plod and Team Titan. Here to represent. I'm Corin Eaton, I'm 24, fighting over this switch, uh, Blackwell Academy, and uh, Team Eaton, representing Team Eaton. Train every day, man, it's a standard. This guy better be ready, man, I'm telling you now. Woo wee, better be ready, man. So I'm ready. This has been my third fight this year. Um, so I've been training since two weeks before Christmas. Yep. In and out of camp, just keep on going, just doing what I do. The ET has landed, landed on this planet. Come and Eaton, you're about to fight alien. ET, extraterrestrial, be ready. Um, I've seen what you can do. Um, nothing seemed to phase me. May the best man win. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This one's scheduled for three rounds of mixed martial arts fighting in the UC MMA flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. This man is an undefeated mixed martial artist who brings with him into the cage a record of five wins and no losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall. He weighed in at 60 kilograms. Fighting out of Team Eaton and Blackwell ACA, here is Corey. Eaton and his opponent fighting out of the blue corner this man is a mixed martial artist and brings with him into the cage a record of five wins one loss he stands five feet ten inches tall he weighed in at 60 kilograms ladies and gentlemen the ET has landed here is Chase ET Martin and when the action begins, your referee in charge is Garth Harriman. Well, Ian, the atmosphere certainly turned up a notch for this one. Without a doubt, Eaton has brought a lot of fans with him. He's putting his arms up to the crowd. The crowd are cheering his name. As soon as they mention Morton's name, they all booed. So Eaton has his fans. Let's see if he has the skill. And here we go, round one. Corin Eaton, Chase Morton. Eaton with the low kick straight away. Yeah, Eaton was bouncing in his corner before the fight. He looks fit, he looks fresh. Again, that low kick from Eaton, inside and out. Morton with a slightly unorthodox fire kick of his own. Them leg kicks are working well by Eaton. Eaton with a single leg goes yeah. up high. High crotch. What's it needs to be careful that knees there to his head. But Chase Morton sees it. Yeah, 
Eaton has his head a little bit too way over the shoulder, I think. Needs to be careful he doesn't get kneed in the face. But saying that Chase Morton hasn't seen it. There you go, the corner men shouting, use head control. That's better, use head control. It keeps your head safe as well. But Eaton doing well, controlling his man. He's got wrist control, firing away at the thighs. Morton decides to turn it. This is where the knee could come in. I can't, I, Morton obviously doesn't see it. Tries to work for it, almost there, and it looked as though, but he let it go. Wrist control from Eaton again. Keeping that right hand of Morton's occupied. Well, Eaton has a body lock. Going nice and tight against the cage. Morton switches in, double unders. That's a nice takedown. Oh, but a good reversal. He takes it back. He gets, gets both hooks in. Needs to be careful. He can be shaken off. Yeah, he's in a little bit high. Morton sees it. There's the knee. Get, oh, he took his time, but he gets it. Took a while to set it up. Should have fired it as soon as he saw it. That's the thing. You've got to work on instinct, Rob. You can't look for something. It's got to be instinctively. You've got to make it happen. If you start looking for things to do, then it's too slow. It's, it's, you, you sometimes missed it by then. Again, that head way out. Good knee to the body this time for Morton, but Eaton just forcing. Well, it's been a Greco wrestling match from the beginning of this fight, all up against the cage, all pushing and pulling. This time, Morton has control. Oh, that's Ty clinching in knee. But that leg kick's working well for Eaton. Both guys trade on the clash there. Back to the cage. Most of this fight being fought around the walls of the cage at the moment. Morton with a good low kick, but needs to watch that big right hand yeah, from the Eaton. The counter was good. Eaton looking to throw a bomb over the top. Oh! It looked like it did more damage than I think it actually did as the, the high leg came up. Thought the knee may have caught Eaton. Eaton's desperate to get this down to the ground. You just wonder how much energy he's using, how fit is he? Can he do this for three rounds? Because he's using up a lot of energy pushing Chase Morton up against the cage like this. That head is way down. taking a lot of energy out of both fighters, isn't it? It is, without a doubt. A lot of energy without any anyone capitalising, to be honest, Rob. Real, real tough, as you said, wrestling match, Ian. So, so far a tough, tough first round. You see how they play out for the second. That leg kick is working well for Eaton. Chase Morton's got no answer to it. And again. You know, see from there, he, wants to, he needs to switch it. He should have switched it to a single and dragged it. His doubles are not working. 
Both guys again just jostle and wrestle. There's the knee. Still there. Them knees would work beautiful. Why is he not using them? Now it's Morton that's going for the single. Morton looking to bring it down, but it stays up, right? Well, this is not the favourable way people want to see a fight up against the cage for one and a half rounds so far. Neither guy getting the advantage of it. There's a knee again to the head if you wanted it. Blood coming from the nose of Corin Eaton. Eater missing his gum shield there. Well, a little bit of fancy work from Morton didn't pay off. And Eaton decides to do his own, but again, we're back up against the cage wall. You see what Eaton's trying to do, he's trying to underhook that leg and pick it up and take him down. Chase Morton just too strong, you're not going to let him have the leg. Good balance from Morton. I like what Eaton's trying to do though, he's waiting for that leg to come up off the ground and trying to kick away the other leg, it's not quite working but it's a good idea. That's better work by Morton. See now what he wants to do now, with his right hand he needs to put it up over the, under the head of Eaton and then just throw some knees. But he just leaves it too long. You know, it's a great opportunity for some headshots there for, with the knees but He's letting Eaton use the wrist control to take his mind away from it. It takes Morton nice and light. Beautiful jab there by Morton. Oh, but Eaton retaliates with the right hand. Not a lot of power in the right, though. I reckon a lot of that will be the fatigue. Yeah, the last... he's been working hard. First now he's got a single, around. now rip it off, he needs to pull it off the cage and turn. He needs to run the pipe. Big question now, Ian, has he got the energy? Yeah. Again, he's still trying for those doubles. And he's tried for nearly two rounds working for the double. It's not going to work. Chase Morton is just too clever. So you've got to change your tactics. If you keep going for the same thing all the time, all Morton has to do is defend that one thing. If he goes for two or three or four different types of takes down, then Morton doesn't know which one he's going to go for. Eventually, he will take him down. Big right hand. Morton broke free. Thought he would catch him with a shot, but Eaton got 5 1 first. Very, very tough round to call in. I mean, this is a judge's nightmare, isn't it? Well, that's why we're sitting here and we're not judging. Well, here we go. Third and final round.
Well, that's better. I was going to say Morton didn't want to get in a clinch, but he broke free. That's what you want. If it is close, then all Morton has to do is just look active on the outside. He could win this round. Caught off balance there. Needs to be careful. Well, it's Morton that managed to get the cage control now. Look at that head, it's just waiting to be need. I just don't understand why Morton's not doing it. Look at that. From our position, you can see Eaton's head is like sort of way down below the shoulders of Morton. There you go, look at that. Knee straight up the middle. That's right, he just needs to lift that right leg. I'm sure when Chase Morton watches his back, he'll be thinking, why didn't I throw the knee right there? And again, look at that, look at that. It's there, just plotted for him. Perfect position for the knee. Good height. That's a bit better work from that Jake Morton. Good combination. He needs to get off the cage though. Oh, he takes his back. A little bit of a mistake there by Eaton. Morton swings round. But what does he do with it, Ian? That's the big question. Well, what if Morton, what Morton needs to do, see where he's got his leg? He needs to put it around the outside, through the middle. Through the middle, chop Eaton's leg, pull it out, and that'll take him to the floor. Now, now, he needs to wrap it around that leg, but he decides to leave it. If he wrapped it around the leg and then pulled his legs backwards, it would have put Eaton on his backside. But it's though the first takedown. Huge takedown, but straight back to his feet. And that will be mortifying there for Eaton. I've gotten you down after all of this work and you go straight back to your feet. But it still counts as a takedown in the judges' eyes. Well, it's two and fro, Rob. One minute, Morton has his back against the cage. Next minute, Eaton has his back against the cage. Yeah, as I said earlier, Ian, I think this is going to be an absolute judge's nightmare to score. Um, it literally has just been backwards and forwards, two and fro. There's Morton breaking off again. But a big overhand right by Eaton. Catches him with a kick, does Morton? Again, Eaton looking for that single leg. Well, one thing you've got to say for Eaton is he's non-stop. Just constant attack all the time. There can't be long left in the round now, Ian. No, like I say, it's not, not the greatest to fight for the fans. Not many people like to see a, a three-round fight all up against the cage. But sometimes it can't be helped, you know. One fighter wants it against the cage for the takedown, the other one defends the takedown, and you end up here for three rounds. So here we go. Three rounds of absolute war, in which can only be called a judge's nightmare. How do you judge that? Ladies and gentlemen, 
After three rounds of mixed martial arts fighting, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score this bout the same way. 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision. Fighting out of the red corner, Corinne Eaton. And your runner-up is Chase E.T. Morton. What a war. I know you probably don't want to speak to me right now, but I know you're thrilled at the same time. Um, I think you both were, you know, equally matched. In fact, I think you had so, such similar styles that it probably, you know, that's why it was so tough. Oh, cancel each other up. Exactly, but the moments you did have in the centre of the cage were, were amazing. That You know, it, it showed what you're great at. Thank you very much. Um, you're spotted in um, Norwich Contenders. You're down here. You're in this um, arena. Ha <laughs> yeah. How does it feel, you know, the step up? Crazy. D feel, feel like it's not real. That's crazy. I, got, I came in here um, whilst you guys were setting up and uh, I was messing about in the cage. I said to Shane and Darren, feels like Christmas, man. Feels like Christmas. I'm here, all my fans. 50 again, come from Mitswitch, yeah. I don't even want to repeat what they were saying throughout that, <laughs> that fight, but they definitely was uh, cheering for you the whole way through. Um, it's great to have you here, and what a first you know, fight here in the cage for you. Uh, we look forward to having you back. Is there anyone you'd like to thank? I'm looking forward to coming back. I want to thank all my sponsors. I want to thank Shane and Darren. I want to thank my mum, my dad. I'm sorry for being a pain in the ass. Um, I want to thank, like I said, my sponsors, Mick Blackwell for giving me the run in the gym. Thank you everyone for having me here. Thanks, Dave. It's great to have you here. What a war, Corin Eaton. Wow. Well, you know, there's no saying it takes two warriors to make a war. Chase, great fight. You come short, very, very, very slim. What are you gonna do to come back? Cause that was, that was a war. Well, you know, he, um, he you know, stood to his game plan. And I didn't really get to my game plan, so, you know, he put it on there. He's a good fighter, good guy. He wins this one, do you know what I mean? But it is what it is, you know, someone's got to win, someone's got to lose. 100%, Chase Morton, you're a gentleman in defeat. You're a gentleman as a winner. The one, the ET, Chase Morton.